What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey Blind. In the last episode, which was a long time ago, I was messing around with the controls, getting used to how Mario moves around, and in this episode, I'm going to be re-getting used to how Mario moves around and everything, because it's been a minute since I last played as him. I'm going to include all of those updates <laughs> in the... Uh, in the beginning, of, or I'll, I'll edit in the clip of just all of the updates coming in. It was pretty ridiculous. Uh, how many updates there have been since I played last. So, regardless, our next objective is to make our way to the next world. I believe I ended the last episode with us on a sort of, like, stage select screen. Ooh, I thought we'd get a little bit more height there, but, man, this game still looks gorgeous. So, without further ado, let's get going. Um, can I... There we go. I also want to say thank you again to the patrons who uh, inspired the first episode and are thus choosing this episode, the next, and the one after that. Uh, they got a kick out of this series, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So now, yes, to the next kingdom. Um, oh, I didn't even realize I could change all this. Well, at least this is how I do it. I'm totally missing something. This was where I originally fell down, right? Isn't this where we go? Let's go to the next world. You guys are so tired of me right now. You guys are like, oh man, who is this guy? Coming back to this series after forever and making us endure all of this. Did we not? I'm pretty sure we got all the moves, right? Not all of them, but like we had six of them. We were on a stage select screen. It's full on, right? Okay, there we go. I was like... I swear that was what we were doing in the last episode. Alright, now, figure that out. So we were just at Cascade Kingdom, we started off in Cap Kingdom. I think it's time to hit up Sand Kingdom. So let's head on over. <laughs> Team Mario's blasting off again! <laughs> Wow, that is a cool looking ship. I love what they do with all the gears at the bottom. <laughs> Clearly denominated, we have six moons. Power moons, that is. Wow, this game is beautiful. I'm yet again impressed in awe, Captain Mario. Now, if only they included this one in, in Smash Bros. instead of the Mario Maker one. Not a big fan of the alternate colors they decided to include for Mario. They got rid of Fire Flower Mario. They got rid of Wario Mario. They included Mario Maker and the Wedding one. I'm just not not a huge fan of those. But regardless, Mario's having a blast as he's traveling through. Looks like we're moving quite a bit. So, <laughs> so how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? That monster's name is... Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, Ground Pound. The smash blocks are enemies below you are to flatten out bumps to the ground, nothing beats a Ground Pound. Press ZL in midair to do a Ground Pound, and pulverize with your posterior. <laughs> pulverize with your posterior, love it. Uh, well, there it is. If you need some more review, you might want to look at the action guide. Ah. Controls, basic actions, capture actions, what are those? Bonus travel hints. I mean, I guess vaguely, right? We, we already know this. What's first person view again? Oh, if you press it down. Basic actions. Oh, this is actually really cool. You can roll? Interesting. I didn't know that. Ground pound, a dive. Oh, you can dive? Why was I not able to do that before? Oh, I was hitting the B button. Gotcha. 
Whoa. So these, so there's a lot that's obviously different. <laughs> um, when you hit the ground, press B. Capture, we know that. The upward throw. Oh, we can only do that with uh, Joy-Con motion. Downward throw. Spin throw. Interesting. Oh, we can make him hold. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> press and hold Y, then step on the cap. There, there's so much more. To the dash, okay. ZL, yeah, we got that. Spin, quick swim, interesting. We, de we definitely didn't learn all of this before. While jumping, ooh, I love the animation they give him. The triple jump, we got that. The side somersault, we got that. The backward somersault, we got that. Okay, well, um... I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. You guys don't want to watch too much of me looking through menus. So it's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu with the plus and select action guide. Maybe I'll do that between episodes. We should discuss the Sand Kingdom too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand. And as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there's some runes there. And an artifact called the Binding Band that links people forever. Like a wedding ring. Well... That's uh, something we've got to get for when we rescue Peach. And this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a priceless antiquity for his sham wedding. I wouldn't put it past it. Oh, would you like this rumble feature in these Joy-Cons right now? A little bit, of, a little bit of a turbulent ride, maybe. Wow. Toast Arena. <laughs> the Sand Kingdom. Wow. Looks really, really neat. Atop the highest tower. This reminds me of Womp's Fortress. You know, like Second World, there's some large, vertically challenging level. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. I mean, during the day, yes, but huh? The top of that tower is shining. But how could that be? Could it be a power moon? I certainly think so, Cappy. Alright. Wait, I thought that was how I, uh, dive. Well, that's something I'll have to review, I guess. Okay, so here we are. Are you an enemy, or...? No, you're definitely not an enemy. Wow, look at this. That is so cool. It's so cold. Everything just froze all of a sudden. I'm sorry to hear that. Aw, oh, dang, including this... Oh, no, no, that guy owes me money. I don't want to buy our freezy treats now. I've frozen to the core. Welcome to our shop. Um, oh, I don't even have to hit a button. We just walk right in. All right, well, I guess we'll take a look now then. Crazy Cap Toast Arena. Hey, hey, hey. We accept two kinds of coins. Coins and the purple coins. You can use those coins anywhere, but purple coins only right here. Or whatever these coins are. Hey, hey, hey. Interesting. Oh, we can, we can buy a Power Moon? And we can buy an Employee Cap? Ooh, the boxer shorts. Comfortable, breezy boxers in a vibrant mushroom-like pattern. 1,000 coins. All right, I mean, we'll, we'll buy the power moon, right? Raises your maximum life value. Oh, so it's like a heart container. Well, I guess we'll we'll buy this while we can. It seems like a good idea. So we bought ourselves a power moon. Cool. Sounds good. Ooh, there are a lot of power moons. I love how many power moons it seems like there are. Can I talk? Thank you. Now let's get the uh, life apart. Cool. Man, I love this crazy cap character. He looks so neat. Now, the real question is... Oh, it's probably just temporary. It's totally temporary. Darn, that's a bummer. Regardless, what do we have over here? Sombrero, the poncho, cowboy hat. What is this? Sand Kingdom sticker? A Jaxi statue? Why are these relevant? Beyond, you know, just a collectible of sorts. Hold up a second. There's a power moon back there. What you doing with that power moon? And hold on a second, guys. I can't even believe I walked out without at least attempting to pet the puppy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, puppy. Can we hang out? <laughs> I'll, I'll come down to your level. Oh, he's so cute. Little Shiba Inu. What do you have to say? Use this closet to change anytime. All right, good to know. We'll stick with our captain's cap for now. 
Ooh, we got some of those coins up there. Okay, so the, the controls are definitely different from... Because it said, like, jump and hit ground pound and hit B when you land, but I just hit A, and that's what that did. And I would think that that's how I, like... I want to be able to do the dive. How do I do the dive? Not that. Darn, I really want to know how to do the dive. Regardless, uh, we can go up here. Can I ground pound this? Oh, secret coins. Interesting. Anything of interest up here? I mean, I know there's some purple coins coming over here. What do you have to say, buddy? You ever get lost? You head for that bright glowy light, okay? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing up here? You shouldn't be up here. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. So it's a collectible of some sort. Oh, do I have to ground pound on it? Oh. These are like those pedal enemies from Mario 64. Interesting. Is there anything of interest over on there? Oh, it does look like it. So we'll hop up here. It's so surprisingly quiet. Completely missed. Quality. Alright. Anything else I should be getting while I'm up here? Oh. I guess we'll take that. Um, got a little birdie up there. Oh, we got a moon. There's a power moon over there. I guess we can go get that in a minute. Before I forget, I want to go over and get those guys. Nice. Sideways somersault. I never call it that. Never really called it anything. Called it more of like a side flip than anything. Let's go over here. There we go. Let's see what you have to say, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at how high his mouth is going. What is the secret you're seeking? I know it, I know it, haha. -ha. I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. The bullet bill maze, break through. And it's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it, go find it, Skraka. Cool, so there's some sort of underground maze, presumably. I would bet that it's probably via that warp pipe. But first and foremost, we've got ourselves a power moon. Overlooking the desert town, cool. So that's two quick power moons, and some more of these purple guys. Let's see what's going on down here. What is this? But wow, look at the design of this place. So cool. There's a prize in this party room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble, let it move you to the prize. Oh, this is so neat. This is probably not looking that interesting to you guys. Because you can't feel anything from the Joy-Con rumble. But as I was walking around, I would either feel a rumble in my left Joy-Con or my right Joy-Con. Is there something still over here? Just a coin. And I think that's it. But yeah, so I could feel the rumble in either my left Joy-Con or my right Joy-Con, and it would get stronger as I was getting, you know, closer or further. Um, or weaker as I was getting further. That was really neat. Okay, is there anything else I want to check out in town? After we unfreeze everything, we'll have to do something, right? Okay, you can open the map with minus. So easy and helpful. Wow, you can select any checkpoint flag. You've activated and press A to fly straight to it. Ooh, that's really helpful. Interesting. What is what is this? Koopa trace walking? Huh? Whatever may that be. Hello there. I saw the craziest couple come racing past on their way to the runes. I figure they're still out that way. Oh. Bowser's footprints. Those are some big boy footprints. Oh, and is that uh Is that uh Oh, can I not zoom in? Darn. 
That's a power moon I see. Oh, we've got some Goombas. Can I... That's right, I can make it... What is it, like, if I spin like that? That's pretty neat. Ooh, and now we're finally getting the music. I'm digging it. The runes entrance. There's got to be something over there, too. Man, I just want to explore the area. It's so cool looking. What do we have here? Can I do something with you? Oh, my. So I can look around. Wow. This guy, this, what's this guy doing over there? How about over here? Wow, so that's what I was looking at. Interesting. And there's this whole aerial course as well. Wow, this place is big. What's that all the way over there? An oasis of some sort. Man, that reminds me of Paper Mario. And then over here, there's so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's uh, exit. How do I? Okay, there we go. Um, can I jump on these guys? Good. Ah. Is that gonna kill me? I would bet on it, given that sign right there. Is there something down here? Ooh, there was. Am I good to walk on this sand? seems so. Oh, because it's so chilly, he's probably, like, shivering and everything. Dang, would you look at that attention to detail. How cool. I'm tempted to go over here. I'm tempted to do that first. I should probably... Oh, okay, let's try and see if we can get this moon. Oh, and there's another moon over there. I probably have to do some uh, wall jumping shenanigans to get up here. This looks too far apart, though. Yeah. Most certainly. How about right here? I doubt this is the intended route. Yeah, it doesn't seem so. So we probably won't be able to make it up there, unfortunately. Yet, at least. Although, I don't know if that, you know, if that's not how we're supposed to do it. How else are we supposed to do it? Clearly, though, there's a means of getting up there. And I don't know what it is yet. So, I guess there's just plenty more to learn. And that's pretty exciting. Okay. Then let's head on up here. There we go. I saw the uh, the purple guys over here. Goomba, not today. Oh wait, I'm probably safe to fall in there regardless. I shouldn't. I don't have to play it so so carefully. Let's ground pound here. That's pretty neat. I wonder if I can jump over there from that. Hmm. Ooh, I can! Would you look at that? I might get myself killed for doing this, but I'm too curious not to. Neat. So I think the idea was I'm supposed to make it to this part of the castle and then I'll open up a shortcut by going over here, but that works. Oh. Thank you, Bullet Bill. Oh, maybe that the sand isn't like an instant death aside from maybe like that area. Maybe it'll just draw me towards that area. Oh, you know what I can do? I'm pretty sure I can do that, right? I can. Nice. And I can go through here, too. Whoa. This is cool. Oh, wait. I'm running out of time. No. We're sinking. Yeah, we are. I, I'm a jumping, Cappy. I'm a jumping. Believe me. All right. Let's get this flag before we end up dying by some other means. So we kind of skipped ahead quite a bit. I want to backtrack a little bit. Pick up some of these coins. I've never been too big on getting coins and everything, but because it seems like... Oh, can we stand on that? Oh, we don't die. That's really funny. I totally thought we would die as a result. 
but uh, we probably have to guide bullet bills to those particular areas. Let's do it. Come on, bullet bills. Anything of interest? No. But there's one sparkling back here. So I'm a little bit more optimistic about this one. Hey, we got ourselves a power moon. And I unplugged my audio, so you guys can probably hear that. Professionalism. Or have you guys been hearing that the whole time? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the recording setup's a little bit different, obviously, than the usual for something on a Switch. So, forgive me for my recording woes. Um, what can we do with anything of interest waiting for us there? No, doesn't seem so. Alright. Then back up we go. Got these guys swinging around. Bring it around town. No, get back here. <laughs> and then we've got quite a bit over here. That's obviously where we need to go. I'm curious. Ooh, that's probably a death trap of some sort. Certainly looks like it. Now we just gotta make our way across here. Okay. Slowly but surely. Oh no! But we're alright because we went into it. Interesting. So we're gonna have a nice little 2D segment. Can I bowl like that? I can! Even the crowd's applauding. Alright. Got ourselves a nice 2D segment. Let's give it a go. Some good old classic Mario Brothers. Ooh, we got a lot of coins up here. I can crouch under. That's what they're trying to teach with this. I love jumping like this. Oh, we can't move like it, though. That's unfortunate, but that's alright. Cool. Alright. We're doing just fine. That was, that was a neat little segment. Oh, do we have to get ourselves another moon there? I guess what I can do, actually, is just take control of it myself. Over here we go, and... Nice. Oh, wait, but it's not going to be over here? Alright, well... That doesn't actually change a whole lot, does it? Because we'll just go over here. And... I don't know, end things here? <laughs> oh, that's right, that's how I detach or whatever. Okay, and now we gotta make our way back. I can probably do it over there. Probably just long jump. Can probably long jump like this just to be safe. Oh, and I could climb up, worst case scenario. Much appreciated. Cool, so we, we've already gotten quite a few moons from this world just on our way to the normal one. I remember seeing instructions for like a dash while, or like a run, while you're 2D, but I, I don't feel like it was, like I was feeling it. <laughs> Alright, we'll just do this. I want to get those coins. And we're making our way up. We're almost at the top, aren't we? Pretty close. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even realize. Let's see here. Anything of interest I can do with these? Doesn't seem so. Got a 2D segment, obviously. Anything else of interest? On this side, maybe? I feel like there's something down here. There is. And I completely missed those coins. <laughs> Gotta love it. Sorry, we're gonna be getting them on our way back up. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Cool. That was pretty neat. I appreciate the little hidden segments. Now we can tackle this 2D segment. So we're going to the right first. I love the 8-bit, or, the, I don't know, 8-bit? Yeah, 8-bit versions of all the songs, too. There's something hidden over here. Yep.
Yo, give me these coins. I'm gonna have to jump on some of these, I'm sure. Ah, oh, not quite enough. Onto you, onto you, and up. Nice. That's probably where we have to go. Maybe. There's probably something around the other side, too. Well, we can take a look from up here, though. We'll hit the flag just so we can, uh... So, yeah, is there something of interest over here? Doesn't look like it. So I think we're in the clear to get the moon. And that was the uh, the main moon, obviously, given that we're doing a little dance. <laughs> or that was like the, the moon, I don't know, that we had set as our mission. I like that it doesn't immediately kind of warp us out of the world as a result of getting the moon. That's something definitely different from Mario 64. Moon shards in the sand. Interesting. So does that mean we just have to go around and find them? Is this a collectathon of sorts? Certainly looks like it. So what's what are these? Oh, that's pretty cool. What does that do? Oh, gets rid of all those. Well, we don't necessarily want it to get rid of. Oh wait, no, we do. No. There we go. Although we probably just made this part a little bit more difficult on ourselves. Cool. I think we're in the good, guys. We're in the clear. Oh, are they just going to keep reactivating each other? Interesting. Cool. Nice little obstacle course. that and now we're gonna be dropped down cool and now we can fast travel here Moai habitat what is this maybe this is once we get all of the shards or whatever we'll be able to are, is this an enemy what are you why put on or take off shades <laughs> oh my goodness that's awesome This is so great! Is there a time limit? Oh! So we need five of them. Okay, so we're, we're told how many there are at that point, which is nice. I appreciate that. They walk a lot faster when the shades are not on. Can I jump? Hmm. I love the... Just look at him. That's so funny. Um, can we walk in the poison? No, we can't. So how am I going to get up there? I have to fall on there? That's what I would bet. Where was he headed? Good question. Well, we can go over here. Obviously get this moon shard. I think I'm just going to chill as this guy for a bit. He's moving pretty quickly. Having a ball. What is he saying when he does that? Some hidden coins there. A P switch of some sort. Um, I don't see a whole lot else. Yeah, he sure was stomping around. What do we have over here? Nothing? Alright. Sorry to leave you down there, bud. But, you know, I got some stuff to do. I'm sure this hawk is going to be of interest. Let's see here. Um, before we hit that one, let's get a nice let's line them up and a. Hey. Maybe we can go bowling or something. No, doesn't seem so. Is it like running from us or attacking us or I don't know. That's definitely where it's going to appear. But where are all of the shards? 
I can fast travel. But I'm sure that all the shards are in this area. We could take a look at the map, right? And we're kind of on this uh, island at the moment. So I don't think we should have to... Wait, huh? Oh, was it in one of the cacti? That's really funny. Obviously, the the Bowser prints or whatever are supposed to lead us. So we can go up here. I didn't realize that. What's... Oh! So they just show us where they are, not necessarily... Interesting. I'm going to bet on it being this way. Nice. <laughs> okay. Wow, plenty of hitting coins. Now... Well, let's give it a go. Was unsuccessful. I think what I'm going to do is get... Over here... And get these guys first, before I do anything else. Alright. Now, let's take a look at those hidden paths up there. Okay. Oh, so there's quite a bit going on. I couldn't have gone wrong at that pillar, it seems. Alright, cool. Although, I'm still gonna have to find one more, so I'll have to figure out where that one is. Looks like it was all over here. Didn't we pick up the one that was already over here? I think so. I don't think there's anything to do with that. Oof. Um, what is it again? I can do that, and then I just run at it to do that jump? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm a fan of those physics. Okay. So, we can go like this. And then from here, we can actually go here too. And then from here, we can go like that. And we've obtained another moon shard. Oh, and there's the last one, just hiding over here. Wow, it was not as hidden as I had expected, but it's alright, we, uh, we take those. I love that when they zoom in on the moon, they show where it is in relation to the player. All right, let's get this moon. Do another little dance. And I'd say we've done a pretty good job of collecting the purple triangle coins along the way too. So now that we have this moon, we can probably power up something. And whoa, that is really cool. It um, it reminds me of Chichen Itza. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. What? All right, looks like we're heading towards a, a boss battle. But yeah, I don't know if you guys know what Chichen Itza is. It's um, one of the wonders, seven wonders of the world. Uh, is it one of the newer ones or the ancient ones? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> but it's a really big deal in Mayan history and culture. I sure hope our... You're, you're what? Things are heating up on the inverted pyramid. They must be trying to see our legendary binding band. What's down here? Anything of interest? I mean, there's something. <laughs> I don't know why this door would randomly be here, but... Show me the way. Okay. Is this gonna be like a, a maze of some sort? Oh, is this the maze that they were talking about earlier? Oh. Alright. So, we'll, um... I definitely underestimated how little I'd be jumping. Oh, we lost 10 coins as a result. Okay. Oh, and there's still a couple of the, the coins again. Um, can I, like, long jump? Okay. We got a couple of our coins back. We got these guys. And long jump again. Cool. Now what? We got Power Moon. 
Where are we gonna have to go for that? Okay, we just gotta do some, uh, a couple jumps over there. Yeah, that looks fine. I think something that's really helpful is you can use the markings on the wall to give yourself a bit of an indicator. Cool! The Invisible Maze! And back over. No, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do a long jump! Ah. <sighs> Sad face. <laughs> After getting the moon, we have to start all the way back in the beginning. Oh man, why is my... Controller? Hello? Hello? We okay? At the beginning, I was not even holding down any anything on my controller. That was really weird. I've never had that happen before. Although I literally just saw that there is a lawsuit, I think, about... Um, what's it called? Uh, drifting Joy-Cons? Alright, and then if I recall correctly... It's alright, I don't really need those, those coins. We can just go here, and then long jump, and we're good. Cool, so we got plenty of those coins. We got another moon. That was, that was a pretty neat area. And now we're heading down to the inverted pyramid. Oh, and we're over by this guy! This guy, what are, what's going on with you, friend? No, 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 my beautiful sheep! The three of them have escaped, and now I'll never get them back! Alright, so clearly we need to round up his three sheep. I don't know where to, but we'll probably just have to go here, and then... Oh, wait, no, 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 no! Um, the question is, where to? Probably back to the guy himself, into this little circle. So we'll just keep doing that. There's one. Ooh, I love that sound effect. Also, aw, my, my, <laughs> my puppies are, uh, are asleep. What is this? Real human being with a car? Huh? Hello? I've got a customer waiting, but from the looks of this mess, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Brr. Interesting. So there's... Oh, there are a few moons in there. Are there any other sheep? Ah, there's there's one of them. I knew they'd be hiding. Alright. Hop to it, buddy. <laughs> now that's probably the speedrun strat. Two... Where is the third one? Oh, we got something over there. Man, I just want I just want to keep exploring all the time. Where is the third one? He's probably a bit further ahead. This way. Ah. There he is. All right, buddy. You know the drill. Well, you don't actually know the drill, but that's okay for now. A nice little bench here. <laughs> What's going on? Parking? station or something? Or a bus stop? We can speed things up. There we go. And... We're good. Give you that moon. Cool. Herding sheep in the dunes. Man, we're getting so many moons. We'll have no problem flying wherever we need to go next. He says optimistically. What is over here? Just a moon? Just a moon chilling there in the ground? <laughs> Dang. Lost in the luggage. Alright. I guess that works. Okay. I want to get that. I want to I want to do all the things, but we're gonna we're just gonna head up to this battle. We'll definitely come back and continue exploring. What's really nice is that they allow fast travel around these actually really big worlds. So, inside the inverted pyramid, anything of interest up there? No. Oh, maybe that's why the coins are the upside down triangles. Presumably, we're going to be using this guy to get around. We'll go to the right of here so all the coins spin into us. Nice. And then, abandoned ship! <laughs> okay, I love all the triangular platforms too. Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, I totally should have... My curiosity will not allow me to continue without checking this out. Ooh, we got plenty of coins from there. Is there a hidden block up here? No? Alright. I'm glad I checked. 
Also, yeah, that extra heart was totally not worth the 50 coins. Oh, interesting. So that's going to be the mechanic of this 2D segment. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan. I dig it. Whoa! What? Huh? What? How did that happen? How did that happen? Why did I... Why did I suddenly come out of the, the painting? The wall. That was unexpected. <laughs> I guess I mean we can we can do this again. Get plenty of coins. But I have no idea why that happened. That's more so what's frustrating. If I had just like, you know, made a mistake, it's like, okay, I, I get what not to do next time. But I don't know what I even did as a mistake. It seemed like just any other part of the, the level. Right? It was right here. Oh! Wait. Why why did I come out last time, but not this time? I have no idea. That's so weird. I have no idea why that happened. Alright, um... So, I can obviously dash here. What's interesting though is like... Oh wait, can I not crouch? Oh, I, I hit ZL, but it doesn't crouch when you're up here. Oh no, it does! Maybe my Joy-Con was just being finicky. Alright. And yeah, it's like the, the B jump, or the B button is not the button I use to jump. So the, the instructions, a little bit, a little, little bit unclear. It's all good though. I saw when we were scouting ahead of the invert inverted pyramid, there's a max life thing just before the uh, boss. So we should be good. Alright, let's get this dash going. Get all the coins. Oh, wait, these Koopas, or er, Koopas, wow. These Goombas just keep coming, so not too... I knew it. I knew it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is where I'm supposed to go. I thought I found a secret. In reality, here's where the secret is. Yeah. Oh, and there's a moon? Wow. They're just throwing moons all over the levels nowadays. Secret of the inverted mural. Oh, and g getting a moon restores your health, too. That's pretty cool. Cool. So back to the puzzles. Wait, no, no, I ducked to get under the bullet bill, not to go back through the warp pipe. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, look at how many coins we have. That's quite a few. And now we are out of the wall. Oh! We're gonna take advantage of that. Um, I guess we can go through here. Can I, can I change the camera? Thank you. I don't think there's any real use. Or actually, let's uh let's take care control of one of the bullet bills. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> I was gonna say we can go around here and see if there's anything of interest over this way. Doesn't really seem like it though, so that's okay. Oh man! No 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 no! Ah, oh, I tried to turn around. That's what I get for just exploring to my heart's content. Come on. Alright, well, that's good enough for now. Although I think we're gonna have to continue to do so, yeah. Alright, actually, no, I wanna see what's behind this one first. Ooh, plenty of health. We'll take that. Alright, away we go! Oh man, we are cruising. And ground pound. Oh. Let's see here. Let's let's do some bowling. 
Aw, oh, man. Wait. Why are the directions all different? Hmm, I don't know why that didn't work as intended, but that's okay. That's alright. We've made it to the top. We can... Check the area, I guess? We already have a max heart thing, so we're, we're fine in that regard. I do want to check around the rest of the area, but... It's alright, we'll, we'll be back, I'm sure. And in the meantime, we've got ourselves one of these guys to fight. Looking for the binding band, chumps? Too bad, the boss has it now. Dang, and you guys ain't, ain't invited to the wedding. <gasps> Not the wedding! Ooh, looks like we're facing off with you this time around. Obviously inspired by a uh, ball and chain. So the question is... Oh, I see. So you're gonna throw a bomb, it'll stop, and then I knock it back at you. Aw, oh, darn it. Oh, dang, it leaves quite a bit of fire afterwards. And then that... So... How am I supposed to damage you again? Throw that. And I can get that out of the way. Now she's gonna do the big attack, swing around, and then get stuck. Okay. So without the, you know, spiky hat on, I can obviously ground pound her. I'm not too worried about this, because as fast as the UFO can move, I wouldn't say she's covering a lot of ground very effectively. She's obviously limiting my movement options by creating these molten caverns or whatever, but they're eventually going to fade away, as they are now, so I'm not too worried. What I need to worry about is... Okay. I need to be well, well outside the radius of that, um, so that I don't... Oh, she's not going to stand still this time, obviously. I need to be outside the radius of her attack. Um, so I don't get hit as it swings around again. Which is fine. So what kind of a pattern are you going to do this time? Oh, I walked right into that one. Oh, it's a star! Neat. Alright, well, we'll do the thing again where we walk around. Because she doesn't really seem to throw them in anticipation of where we're going. More so where we just were. Alright, she's gonna do that attack, and we'll go over there, and... Oh, darn it. We were just a bit too slow. Man, that leaves behind a huge... Gape, gaping, I don't know, area. Alright. That should be good. Before she has the chance to run around too much, we'll get that last ground pound down, it seems. Or ground pound in, in it seems. Whoa, she just went poof. That's awfully dark, grim for a Mario game. All right, and we got a, I forget what these are called again. King Banana or something like that. Oh, Banana, that's <laughs> what they remind me of. But no, it's like a triple moon, multi moon. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. That was a fun one. I mean, it was a cool battle. I love the aesthetic of this game. This world is so cool. I love... It, it really feels like a great use of a big world to explore. A huge kingdom that has so many sub-segments. All the fun little moons to get. All without a lot of interruption between them. It was definitely a blast. And oh man. Inverted pyramid. Where, where are you going, man? The hole in the desert. Huh? That's really cool. That's really cool. That brutal slowed us down a bit, but we're still racking up power moons. Yeah, we are. How odd, the inverted pyramid is floating? And it's gotten so much colder. Is this more of that Bowser's doing? I say, he does make trouble, doesn't he? Interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna tackle whatever's in that hole in the desert in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a pretty long episode, but I felt like there was so much going on and there was so much I got sidetracked by, but genuinely enjoyed. I, I hope you guys liked it as well. And what, what, like, what is that over there? Oh, I'm so curious. I want to, I just want to keep exploring this world so much. But anyways, 
I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.